welcome to Phuket News TV. Now, I'm in my element at the moment because it is Sunday night and I've got a bit of jazz in the background as well. If you can't tell, we're at Iguana Beach and it is absolutely beautiful down here. We're here for the Phuket Jazz Summit. Now, this is in its fourth year, but the very first time that it's been held at Iguana Beach. So if you're not too familiar about this venue, you should find out about it because it is absolutely beautiful. Uh, you can find out more on Facebook as well. But we're going to talk to more the general manager of Bile Tong, who also owns this beach, a little bit more about the Phuket Jazz Summit. We are sitting here right now with more, the general manager of Bile Tong and Iguana Beach. How are you doing tonight? This is a fantastic idea and I know it's yours. Yeah, thank you very much. I feel so overwhelmed tonight uh, with all the friends that come and support the event at Iguana Beach. Now this is the Phuket Jazz Summit. Yes. Now this has been going for three years, but it's the first time at Iguana. Yes. How has it been? How's it been uh, received? Yeah. How many tickets have uh, you sold? Yeah, actually my friends uh, who own actually the, this concert, they, they had this for three years and this is the fourth year and they come and talk to me because we just opened uh, Iguana Club for for a year. So then he said, he wants to do something like this. I said, well, why don't you take our place to do all the jazz on the beach? Yes. This is amazing, isn't it? I mean, if we can have a look in the background, we've got all these, this jazz going on, the sun has just set. Um, what is this going towards? This is for charity as well. Yeah, uh, the money for, for the ticket sale will go uh, for, for a temple in Tao Wat Pa Aram to build uh, a restroom and a kitchen for, for, for the people who come and meditate. Yeah. Yep. Amazing. So uh, with Iguana Beach, uh, if we can just talk about this for a second, because personally this is one of my favourite venues in Phuket. I actually Thank did come so down much. here for my birthday as yes, well. Yes, I remember. Uh, what can you tell people that haven't really been to Iguana Beach, what to expect? Yeah, Iguana Beach is more like, uh, you know, like easy. Uh, we use the word accessible, you know, like sometimes when you come to beach club, you don't want something like too fancy, you dress up. You want here, you want to dress up, you dress up. If you don't want, just bring your flip flop and one tank top, yeah, and short, that's it. Come and have a good time, you know, grab a beer, you know, be on the beach, yeah, have a swim. There's not too many places where you can look at the sunset like this as well in Phuket. Uh, this is how I found the place because uh, before it's nothing here and I love to grab a beer and sitting here and watching the sunset. This is the best sunset out of you know, the west coast of Phuket except the Pom Tep Cave, you know. Pom Tep is amazing, you know, but on the west coast here I think it's the best. So yeah. was that when you were coming down here on your own, you were like, maybe we can make something more of this? Yeah, I'm thinking about who owned this plant, you know? Yeah, so after that, I'm looking for him, and then I found, and then I get the contract, yeah, and everything. And yeah. how's your first year at Iguana Beach been? First year, it's not so busy, because we don't do a lot of things, because I believe that, you know, the place is like a house. You have to live there, and you know how to decorate it, and how to make it more, you know, like yours, you know? So the first year we don't do a lot of things, but this year we know what we want and we go all the way. So will you be holding the Phuket Jazz Summit next year? Yes, uh, we try to do it every year, like an annual event of Phuket City, and we're going to make it bigger and bigger. This time we sold 200 tickets and we limit only 200, yeah? And next year we're going to be 400 and the next year maybe 1,000, who knows? Yeah. All right, so for people that want to find out a little bit more about Iguana Beach, yeah. where can they go to? Okay, uh, very easy, like from Pratong to, to what, Kamala. You see, like, you know, uh, Kalima Hotel on your right-hand side. Another 400 meters on your left, you're going to see a big side of Iguana Beach. Amazing. Yes. And Facebook, you're on Facebook as yes, well. Yes, uh, our fa fan page is our web, facebook.com slash Iguana Beach Phuket. That's there you it. go. Yeah. Thank you very much for talking to You're us welcome. more. Okay, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. 
look who I ran into. Isn't that a coincidence? Jason Wilder from Drive, who is also emceeing the event tonight. He's in a jazz trance. And Sam Clark, my co-host for breakfast. How are you guys doing tonight? Fantastic. What's I love happening? jazz. Well, you what know, are you doing? Well, Van Dom just having a bit of a jazz dance. You know, that's the great thing about jazz is that you don't have to. You don't have to have any sort of coherent grasp of any language. If you don't know the words, you can just go. Yeah. All right. So you enjoying this evening? Don't break me out of my jazz trance. It's dangerous. It's dangerous to break a man out of a jazz trance. Out of this trance, we're gonna have to get some sort of real little injection into him to get him okay. I'm looking a bit weird now. I realize I'm looking a bit weird. So Look, I'm this be is what I have to work with every day at Live 89.5. He's emceeing as well. He has a responsibility tonight. He's emceeing. Hello, hello, Mr. De Burgi. So, how do you find the crowd tonight? Yeah, good. It's a busy event. It's really nice to see people have come out for it. It's for a good cause. It's building restrooms and kitchens for a temple passing on the jazz trance <laughs> and uh, it's like the jazz uh, Phuket Jazz Society are all come together there's people flown from um, from uh, the Philippines there's a few bands like pretty good really good bands from the Philippines come over as well uh, so a bit later there's going to be a bit of emotion as well because jazz is obviously an emotional genre yeah. and uh, so we're going to be asking for some donations for that but the money for tonight is all going towards uh, towards building the restrooms and the kitchens for a temple in Phuket town so that's really nice and great crowd really nice people of course amazing and Sam you're no stranger to Iguana how you find it? This is the first time that the Phuket Jazz Summit has been held at Iguana. Yeah, yeah. How do you like the venue? I love Iguana, you know, it's kind of in this rocky little alcove. It's like God's untouched land down here, you know, except they built a bar, but that's the only part they touched and everything else is as it was. Uh, and it's, yeah, it's a fantastic place to have a party. And like Jason said, all for a very good cause. And uh, jazz, great, great music. Oh yeah. The sound of freedom. <laughs> Another, another thing that it's about as well is to honour and tribute um, the father of Boy Navio, who's a very popular jazz guitarist here on the island, and his father was Romeo Navio, and he was like one of the jazz greats, and uh, so it's, that's another bit, it's kind of paying respect to Boy's father as well, which is really nice, because you've got all the friends who've come to collect for that as well, you know, and to remember him, you know. Amazing. Well, get back into your jazz trends. Just one thing as well, in support of this event, uh, Live 89.5 will be hollowing out the station car, setting the inside of it on fire and pushing it out to sea. <laughs> just, uh, just for Loic Raton, exactly. Yes, yes. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your night, guys. Thank you. Enjoy.